Okay, a bit of a challenge here. I uh, made this about 12 years ago, flapping fish. Unfortunately, the fish has become separated from the box. It's held on by a little pin. And what I did, I was asked to mend it, so I thought, well, I'll just glue it back on again. And then it'll be fine. But unfortunately, when I used the glue, the glue seeped through this hole. The glue seeped through this hole into the mechanism, so this should just pop in and out on a spring. But it doesn't because it's got glue in it. So I've got to try and get the mechanism apart. Now as you can see this is just a solid piece of wood with a hole in and the mechanism is held in place by this brass pin which is in a blind hole so can't just push it out. So, but I need to get it out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drill a small hole in it and then I'm going to tap it. I've got um, got some two millimeter taps here. Tap it and then insert a two millimeter threaded uh, rod in to pull it out. To free the glue I'll use a soldering iron to heat it up and hopefully I can then pull it out. So first of all not so easy to drill the hole in the brass just there without it slipping into the wood. So I'm going to make a little dent in it just to get the drill started. There we are. So now I'm going to drill a 1.5 mil hole in it. I'll just drill the hole. Okay. So now I've got the 1.5 mil hole drilled in there. Just about deep enough I think. So these taps come in different shapes. One of which unfortunately has been broken off, the one that I wanted, so that's a little bit unfortunate to say the least. Uh, so I'll have to use one that's got a bit of a taper on it. Now problem there being that it needs to go further in so I'm going to have to drill this hole a little bit further. These taps were actually quite expensive. Volkel. I've bought cheap ones in the past but they're a waste of money. The problem is they're not really very well finished and they have bursts so they don't make a nice thread. Whereas these have been very good. Very hard metal though and very thin that's why it snapped. We'll have to invest in a new one, I think. But anyway, let's see how we get on with this one. Not to lose it. Right, I'm going to use the drill, pillar drill, to do this. This is sort of one of those jobs where three hands would be very useful. I'm just going to so now I'm winding the tap into the brass. As you can see, it's in because it's. Uh, Lifting it up. Good, let's free it up. Okay, now I've got the two millimeter threaded hole in the brass. So hopefully now this will get a hold. And Yes, it does. Sufficient, I think, to be able to pull it out. Because it won't come out because it's glued. So now we need the soldering iron. Let's put these away. Don't want to lose them. 
Hopefully, don't need the hammer. We'll switch it on. We'll get it up to well, it says 406 degrees. That should be hot enough. It's amazing these modern soldering irons. Just how quickly they heat up. I bought it for doing electronics, but uh, really useful for freeing brass parts after they've been glued with super glue. Now then, it's up to 400 already, so I'm just going to apply this to the brass piece. In fact, I'll push it in the hole. It might get a bit better. Depends how big the piece of brass is. Hopefully half a minute will do this. Just give it a test go. Not yet. Good. Give that a go. No, still not. Keep going. Put a bit of pressure on it, might see it move. Push the temperature up a little bit. It's quite high, this soldering iron. Hopefully, that'll do it. Not yet. It's one of those things where all of a sudden it goes because the acrylic in the glue melts. Till then, no action, then suddenly it, it moves. Mistakes. Let's try now. But if you touch it, it'll feel really hot. No, still nothing. Nice supple fish anyway. What's happened is it's been rotated. Kids playing with it I suppose. And it's freed the bond up. Still not moving. I think it's so slow because so I've got quite a fine head on the soldering iron. Usually it was a thicker one. I've got the electronics one on, so there's not much surface for uh, heat transfer. But I did think that pushing it in the hole that I drilled would help. The trouble is with these things, you can't really just change the head because it's so hot. <laughs> got to wait till it's cooled down. Because I was hot on my thumb, let alone down the bottom. So it's on 450 degrees now. Yes. Oh, it was quite a big piece of brass, wasn't it? But it's out. Let's switch the soldering iron off. Let that cool down. So that's pretty hot now, I imagine. So we leave that there now then should just be able to pull the mechanism out now. Except of course it's got that glue on it, but um, we're well on the way. There we are. So we've got the mechanism's got two magnets in it, and then it's got the rod which is uh, held down by that pin and then the spring which pushes it out and quite a bit of glue around it unfortunately so yeah that's stiff so I just need to clean all that out I suspect the glue is more on the wood in here rather than on this but 
It's okay, there was once a time I had a drill that fitted in there, but those days have gone, unfortunately. But what I've done is found a piece of uh, steel rod that's quite rough on the end where it's been in the lathe and I've cut it off, which just happens to fit in that hole. So I can use that to clean the hole out, I hope. See, just see, it's rough at the end there, and it's just ideal for clearing that out. So, let's see how. Oh, look at that, it's nice and smooth now. So, if we put the spring back in, need the magnets on top, and now it goes backwards and forwards fine. Put the pin back. Super, right. It's actually a little bit proud though now, I don't know why that is. But, uh, hopefully if the fish fits on top. Just get the effect. I'm just pushing that in and out. Just having to hold the fish. The moment. We'll see what happens it spins around because it's not, not glued yet. but. Uh, So what I'm going to do is grind that down a little bit and then attempt to push the fish back again. The idea is not that they're holding it in but just that they're stopping it rotating. Find the position now. Super. Need to glue that in place, but the fish is working again, the pin's coming out fine. Fish mended. Thank goodness. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>